The two heads of state discussed strategic partnerships between the two countries. They also explored new areas to deepen the fraternal ties between Nairobi and Pretoria. South Africa and Kenya enjoy warm bilateral relations underpinned by strong political and historical bond. South Africa as a strategic partner of Kenya in various fields, particularly in trade and security. During their meeting, the two leaders also shared perspectives on various issues of mutual importance, such as continental and international developments. We also had a bit of discussions about the situation in some areas in the continent, <clears throat> particularly South Sudan, which is quite a, a challenge. A review of progress made in the implementation of earlier signed agreements between the two countries also topped the agenda. Largely pertaining to how we can strengthen, deepen the relationship between our two countries, how we can work together for the mutual prosperity of our people, increase trade between ourselves, and how we can also improve connectivity on our continent, because that is something that is critical to our uh, industrial development, which will enable us to create the jobs that our young people uh, require. Kenyatta has been invited by the ruling ANC to attend their January 8 statement celebrations. The ANC's annual statement is a key event in South Africa's political calendar. It comes just weeks after Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa took over the ANC's leadership from President Jacob Zuma. We have very <coughs> uh, good discussions about how we make our parties to work together so that we are able to take our people along with us and our policies. We are very keen to see how political parties on the African continent can also start working together, partnering together, because it is political parties that ultimately help us create that people-to-people -people connection. Kenyatta is expected back in South Africa for a state visit in the next few months. Yuri Sanjamela for CGTN in Durban, South Africa.